Hello everybody, it is me, Andrew, and this is going to be a pick a card reading to help you connect with spirit. So connecting with spirit is clairvoyance, whether it's clear singing, clear audience, cl uh, which means clear hearing, um, clear sentience, clear feeling, clear cognizance, clear thinking. So there are four ways that you can connect with spirit. And connecting with spirit is one of the most beautiful things that we can possibly do um, because truly there is no separation uh, between us and spirit. So the way that this reading is going to work is you are going to pick a crystal that you are drawn to, amethyst, scolocyte, or um, clear quartz. Whichever one you feel drawn to, um, that's the message that is meant for you. Um, just as a quick um, side note before we start this, if you are looking to grow your psychic abilities, um, I have a course called Light Your Way. It is a self-guided course. It is a 44 page, which was intentional, a 44 page PDF. Um, you get eight videos um, you have journaling exercises, actual exercises and meditations, and it really helps you grow um, in your spiritual gifts and to be able to connect with the spirit world. Uh, there is also a psychic ability assessment reading um, where I look at uh, more in depth your clear cognizance, clairvoyance, clairsentience, and uh, clair, clair cognizance, clairsentience, clairvoyance, and clairaudience. Um, I always like forget one when I list them slow, so I have to list them fast. <laughs> um, but there is a reading where I look into um, each one of those gifts really deep, and we kind of take a deep dive into um, how those gifts are manifesting in your life and what you can do um, to move past them. So this reading is going to be overall um, kind of how you're doing, connecting with spirit, um, guidance on how to connect better, how to connect stronger, right? All right. So take a deep breath in. Exhale. And pick a crystal. All right. You got the, you got the crystal. Good. All right. So we're going to move these out of the way like we normally do. And we are going to focus on amethyst. So for amethyst, we have the Ten of Pentacles and Archangel Gabriel. So um, I am using the Moonchild Tarot. And then I am using my own um, Angels and F-Bombs Oracle. This one. So um, in this reading. So these are those are the decks I'm using. So for Archangel Gabriel, we have Archangel Gabriel, help me to speak my truth clearly with others and communicate clearly with others. That's the heart side. Then the bomb side is Archangel Gabriel, let me tell these bitches how the fuck it is and help them understand this shit. So those are the two prayers you can use and you can actually even screenshot, you know, whichever one you feel um, comfortable with. And then we have the 10 of Pentacles. So if you drew, uh, or if you were drawn to, uh, pile one or the amethyst crystal, there's a really good chance you're already connecting with spirit in a way that feels aligned with you. Um, the only thing that can make your connection stronger is learning about the connection between the material world and the spiritual world. Because the Ten of Pentacles is a great card. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of leaving a legacy. It's a card of abundance and prosperity. So really, really, really thinking about how your feelings of security, prosperity, and abundance tie in with the spirit world and really beginning to merge those two worlds even more. Um, I do this by listening to Law of Attraction meditations uh, and talks by Abraham Hicks. Um, to me, that helps raise my vibration. And Archangel Gabriel is the angel that helps you clearly communicate what you're wanting to communicate. So there are going to be times where on your spiritual path, people are going to be like, Oh, like, what do you mean? Like, you do this, or blah, blah, blah. And Archangel Gabriel is the angel of communication, the angel of parenting, the angel of creativity and writing. So start talking about your spiritual experiences. Start talking about how you have, um, where you started and where you're at now. Even if you don't think it's very far, that's going to help somebody else, right? So if you chose, if you chose um, Amethyst or the first pile, I really think that you're doing a great job and it feels like you're doing a great job um, connecting with spirit. So uh, kudos to you. 
but just be more authentic in your communication and communicate about your your experiences and let other people know. And if you're having trouble doing that, then that's why Archangel Gabriel came up. So yeah, that looks really, really good. Um, so, and if you want to connect more, like I said, um, in the first in the first part of this video, um, my course and reading are available, and I will link those in the um, I will link those in the in the description of the video. So, if you chose pile two, you have Archangel Shamuel and the Five of Pentacles. So, the Five of Pentacles is a stark contrast um, from the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is happiness, fulfillment, abundance. Um, the Five of Pentacles is not so much. The Five of Pentacles is a feeling of loss. The Five of Pentacles is a feeling of hopelessness. It is a feeling of being on the outside looking in. So if you were drawn to pile two, um, there is kind of a, a, a call home for you right now to really, really, really find that missing and lost part of yourself. Um, and finding that that peace that really comes from um, that really comes from connecting with spirit, because the the if you look at the traditional five of pentacles um, in the Rider Waite, there's a there's a woman or there's like two people and one's on crutches and um, they're outside of a church and like they're really cold and they're like hobbling and. Um, it, it just doesn't feel really good, but there's a church right there. There's help right there. So a really big, um, a really, really, really big thing for you right now is asking for help and is acknowledging the help that's all around you. Um, Archangel Shamuel, this is one of the About the Angels cards. So each, um, each angel, each of the 15 Archangels that I work with has this card in the deck. So it is um, Archangel Shamuel, whose specialties are universal and personal peace finding lost or misplaced items. Um, his color is pale green, his crystal is fluorite, and the astrological sign that he looks after um, is Taurus, which actually works really well with the Five of Pentacles card um, because we all know like Taurus is that, that very grounded sign. Um, so there's an element of groundedness that is missing in your connection to spirit. And it almost seems like your, your your physical circumstances have hindered your connection to spirit. And then that just kind of spills and they both affect each other. And then your lack of connection to spirit affects your physical circumstances. So it's this kind of vicious cycle where one eats it away, eats away at another. So what I would really recommend for you is to, I mean, if you watched, if you're watching this video all the way through, um, the first pile I talk about finding that connection between the physical world and the spiritual world and kind of where they meet. And that's really going to be the law of attraction. Um, the law of attraction brings us physical circumstances that matches our vibrational, uh, our, our vibrational responses. So looking at the five of pentacles, there's obviously some work that needs to be done, right? There's obviously some, some things that feel lost. So Archangel Shamuel is the angel that can help you call that back. So working with Archangel uh, Shamuel and the crystal fluorite. I really, really love fluorite. I actually saw my very first spirit while I was holding and meditating with a piece of fluorite. Um, so I really think that this is really, really important to work on. So ask Archangel Shamuel to call back those missing pieces um, and to help you find those missing parts of you that you've lost. And that's what's going to help you connect with spirit more. The more that you connect with yourself, the higher your vibration rises and the, quick, and the easier it is to connect with spirit. And remember that there is always help around you. You are never, ever doing this alone. You're never, ever alone. All right? And that's going to be what really connects you um, to spirit and what strengthens that connection to spirit. All right. Last pile. We have, so we, this is a very pentacles heavy reading. <laughs> so we have the nine of pentacles and we have the love card. Um, so the love card from my deck is um, a card that um, is not about angels, but there are cards in my deck that bring in like specific energies uh, from the universe. So I have one, um, 
about abundance and one about dragons and things like that. So, um, so it's not about angels, but it brings in the energy of whatever you're trying to, to manifest. So if you chose pile three, um, a really important part of connecting to spirit is realizing that everybody connects differently and that your unique connection to spirit is yours and yours alone. You may hear, see, feel, or know how you connect to spirit is different from other people. And that's okay. Because if you look at the Nine of Pentacles, normally the Nine of Pentacles is this lovely lady. She's standing in a garden. She's owning her entire life. She is like getting it. She's living her best life. She has like a fucking bird on her arm. Like she's just not even playing around. There's pentacles around her. She's well dressed. So she's very, very happy where she is. And she's eccentric and she doesn't care. So something that's really gonna help you in your connection to spirit, it's just not caring. You know, this person is in a desert dancing around. I mean, with a doorway right here. Like, they're just dancing. And to me, this really honestly speaks of dancing between worlds. And you get to choose which world you dance in. There's a desert that's dry and barren. And then there's also this wonderful forest. And it looks like there's snow um, or water. There's a field of flowers. So you get to choose which world you dance in. And whatever world you dance in, your dance is going to be unique. How you move is going to be unique. And it's also going to be unique how you move between worlds. Because really connecting with spirit is that moving between worlds. You're moving between a physical, like, 3D world. I knocked on the table, so it's like that. Um, moving between a three-dimensional world and higher dimensions. You're bringing in beings that are, you know, fourth, fifth dimensional, sixth dimensional, seventh dimensional. You're bringing in that energy and you're connecting with it in a way that only you can. So no matter what the what no matter what the way you connect to spirit is, it's yours. And it's yours to explore and to navigate. And if you look at this card, it says, Dear universe, help me see all the wonderful things about myself to love. And then the bomb side says, Dear universe, show me the things about my badass self to love the fuck out of. Because when you truly love how you connect with spirit and you love yourself in general, that is where you are going to have that open heart to spirit. And you're going to be more receptive of how spirit comes to you. Because to be completely honest, people connect with spirit in tons of different ways. Um, I know uh, Teresa Caputo, the Long Island Medium, talks about how she sees shadows and she feels the connection that the other person you know, had. I connect with spirit by seeing and hearing spirit. So however you connect is how you connect. So don't, you know, don't think that how you connect is better or worse than somebody else because it's totally not. Um, just dance your dance and let things happen the way that they're supposed to happen. So, and like I said um, in the beginning of this video, you can take a look at my Light Your Way course and my Psychic Ability Assessment reading. You can take a look at both of those and see um, which one kind of works with you. There's actually a bundle if you buy both of them. Um, and you get like five bucks off what they would be, you know, together. So yeah, I am really excited to see um, how this reading resonated with you guys. Please, 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 please leave comments, like the video, share the video. Um, let me know kind of how this resonated with you and, um, keep a lookout on my Instagram for my pick a card for the week ahead that is coming, um, today as well. Love you guys.